Today's recipe is kimchi bokkum, stir fried kimchi. I'm going to make this and I will just make a Korean lunch box, doshirak. I used to make this for my family all the time. They love it and I love it too. You'll be surprised to see how easy it is. How many dishes I have been making delicious dishes with kimchi. So kimchi is such an important Korean ingredient. That's why Korean housewives make a lot of kimchi and this kimchi in the refrigerator. Even a lot of Koreans have a kimchi refrigerator. This refrigerator is just for only kimchi, but I don't have one. I have no room in my apartment to put my kimchi refrigerator if I buy this. So onion, just a little bit. So for one pound of kimchi and just only quarter cup. See, this is a quarter cup. And then, kimchi. This is exactly one pound of kimchi, 453 grams. Usually, I don't measure like this when I cook. Just, you know, approximately, I just take it out my kimchi. For you guys, I measured exactly. Okay, this kimchi is, uh, I made like 18 pounds of kimchi and now really well fermented. By the way, red hands. <laughs> well fermented kimchi tastes sour. So this is perfect for me to make this kind of kimchi bokkum. Easy, easy. So this kimchi, one pound, I'm going to chop it up. And I always eat this part also, this top part. Chop really small pieces. Now let's stir fry. Cooking oil, around one tablespoon. My oil is vegetable oil, but you can use any, any type of cooking oil. And then I will just add just the kimchi, this medium high heat. And onion. Just uh, keep stirring until cabbage is withered and cooked. This side dish is for lunch box, so it should not be really watery. If your kimchi has a lot of water, and you should uh, squeeze out the so excess water, and then stir fry like this. So around. One minute, I cook sugar, one teaspoon, and gochujang, around one or two tablespoon. Like this. So you gotta keep stirring. Another version for this recipe is, I add some pork or beef. But this time, I will just make this without meat. I stir fried for five minutes, and I'm going to turn off. That's it. Easy, easy. And last touch, what is it? Sesame oil. Sesame oil is very important because it makes it taste really better. One tablespoon sesame oil. Yeah, once I add sesame oil, this dish is much, much look delicious looking and a little bit shiny and smells you know, sesame oily. Yummy, yummy. That's it. I think this is one of the most Koreans' favorite side dish for lunchbox. Kimchi bokkum. What else you need? Rice and kimchi bokkum, all you need is only two. But we need some protein, so I made more side dishes. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. These days are like winter time. So winter days, when I make lunchbox for my children, special lunchbox, thermos, thermos lunchbox. I'll bring my thermos and show you what I did. Just before filming, I made two 
recipe. All these recipes are from my website. This is a ojingo che, ojingo che bokkum. It's a shredded, dried uh, squid. And this is a tuna. Just a can of tuna, I made this pancake, tuna pancake. Six pancake from one tuna, can of tuna. This is a Korean moms, what they are doing. Making just, you know, for family early morning wake up and then make uh, all lunch box. So this is the reason I use this thermos is a winter time, you know, so my children or even myself, and I want to enjoy this like warmth. Sometimes I use the rice here. Sometimes I add some soup here, you know, but today let's add rice here. I made just rice. This is really hot. But once you cover this, it's going to be all the for hours. It will be okay, really hot. And then, kimchi bokum. So I just cover this, and I will just add here. And let me taste. <laughs> I can't wait. Mmm. Crunchy, sweet, squiddy. <laughs> and this is tuna, tuna pancake. So, clean stuff. Don't forget chopsticks and spoon and water. That's it. Now still a lot of leftover side dishes. I can make you know more. Why don't you make a Korean doshirak just like this? Not only for your children. If you work, you know, you go to a company, make your own, you know, lunch box. That's the most delicious, made with love, isn't it? You are going to make this. Uh, you are supposed to put all your passion inside, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's open. Lunch time, everybody. Come over. <laughs> and rice. Kimchi bokum. Mm. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Whenever I taste the kimchi bokum, I feel like really appetite is really boosted. Mm. <laughs> Soft and really crispy, savory. Kimchi bokum is a little cooked, so but still crispy and sweet and really sour and spicy and sesame oily, perfect Korean side dish for lunchbox. But you guys can also keep in the refrigerator, put it in the you know, airtight container and keep in the refrigerator up to one week, no problem. Oh, by the way, so oh my God, exciting. Next video, I will use this kimchi bokkum exactly and make a really beautiful, beautiful, really delicious recipe. So. Today, we made kimchi bokkum, stir-fried kimchi. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.